Uh, sound? Uh, interview 21, take two, Mark. My name is Ellery with an exclamation point. That's to get your attention. Because I'm a cut up, you know, I like to make people smile. Yeah. So, you know, I'll go, hey, you know, say my name. Put a little. Yeah, Ellery. Never, never be a question mark, I tell them. Okay. So, um, all right, in, in your life, how many commercials do you think you've done? I think I've done about 60, 55, 60 commercials. About that they didn't all go on. Right, but right, I did right. Um, and uh, so, uh, st starting off with the questions, um, what's your favorite part of auditioning? Uh, getting the audition itself and going in there and just being, just having fun. You know, so many of us take it so seriously. You know, it's a crapshoot. Did you ever take it too seriously? Uh, when we first start out, nobody wants rejection. But then as you learn the game and you learn your craft and you see, do the storyboard, you look at the storyboard and you figure out what they want, you try to give them what they want. Sometimes they don't know what they want. You gotta tell them. You know, uh, it, that's the reality. You can go in and change. You know, uh, my first audition, am I supposed to keep talking? Sure. My first audition when I um, got here, that I got, had already been cast. And I got that um, audition with, the, with an agency, I was with a big agency, and nothing was happening, and I went in. I, I was working for Kelly Services, and I went in as a receptionist for a producer who was casting a Toyota commercial. And in walks in Maureen Reagan. And I started talking to her. And that is how I got with an agency called Jack Wormser, through her, okay? The first time they sent me out, I was giving cigarettes samples down at, down at Hill Street downtown, working for Kelly Services. And I called, got a call from my agent, and I went to Screen Gems. It was for a 409 commercial. That commercial, I was told by the director, they had already cast it. So I had two auditions, and I went in, and I did it, you know, the audition. And then I was on my way to the next audition. And when I got to the next audition, the lady says, call your agent. You booked that commercial, the 409. Wow. And I was told by the director that they had already made up their mind. So that, I don't even remember what the question was, but that sticks out in my yeah. mind, you know. What, uh, what made you get into acting? I was always a cut up. I'm from Newark, New Jersey. I was always on the outside. Most of the people that I grew up with are either dead from drugs or they're on welfare and they had 10 kids. But I wanted to get out of that, and I would. All, well, I was a TV person. I used to always watch television, and I was always in the 400 Club. Like I didn't like the kind of music, say like today, the kids who were doing hip hop. I would be, you know, listening to stuff like pop music and stuff like that. And I was on TV, you know. And I never saw any of us on TV. So when we did see one of us on TV, you know what I'm saying? A black person. I said, I think I want to do that. I want to go to Hollywood. I want to. Um, uh, go go to Tahiti, you know, uh, Adventures in Paradise. I, of course, I didn't realize it was shot on a stage, and I think in Culver City. Right. So, how yeah. would you say that uh, the industry has changed for African Americans in the last, uh, in however long your career has been? Well, it's changed. It really has. There's a lot of good stuff on TV now. Um, I came when the, the, the on the curve. Remember the black shows like Jane Murray was one of the great, she was a great lady. She was one of the most important casting directors. She cast like uh, um, uh, Sanford and Son and all of those shows like that. And uh, the, it was a whole bunch of actors who were busy in New York. They were like a part of a, um, an acting um, class. And they came out here, but see, I was a singer. I was doing, concentrating on music because when I started acting, there wasn't a lot happening for us, for black people, it, you know, made parts and things like that. What about in commercials? In commercials? How's um, it changed? How's it changed? You see, a, uh, you see the ethnicity, the diversity. I love that. We see that all the time now. And we've seen a lot of that since Obama has been in. I mean, I don't know what we're gonna do when he leaves. But my point is, is that it's a great feeling because we, we eat jello and, you know, we drink coffee and, 
you know, so I love it. And, and I'm very fortunate because I'm one of the people, you know, who's, who's doing them. You know, I, I'm... What's the worst audition you've ever had? The worst audition I ever had was a couple of, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm vintage now. Okay. So, you know, it's on the job training. You never stop learning. I went up for an audition about, uh, about two months ago, three months ago, and I'm a diabetic, okay? And I didn't have my act together. I did, my blood sugar was low, and I had to go all, early in the morning, had to go all the way to Santa Monica, told my agent, I'm not gonna do it anymore, get caught in traffic, because you know, I got, and I was the first, I got there early, and I, it was very technical. You know the one that says, hello, yeah. so people, it was that one. And I did not wait around for people, other actors to come so we could all go in together and get that exclamation, okay? That explanation didn't work for me because I was kind of off center. Right. And plus the, the, guy who, the guy who was in charge, the running the camera, he just wanted to do his thing. And I let that happen and I'm really pissed at myself because I've been in this business long enough to know. Uh, and I learned this from a, a, an old actress who said, they called her and she said, I'm not ready. I didn't have to go to makeup. So you don't have to um, please people. You have, to, you have to do what you can do to be the best that you can be because the objective is to get the job. You know. The, what, what, what's the most fun you've ever had in a commercial? The most fun I had in a commercial yeah. was I did um, a commercial last year. Uh, should I name? Sure. It was for Comcast. And it was, it was one of the most, because I've had a lot of fun yeah. doing a lot of them. And it was a Spanish language commercial. And I got to work with a lot of uh, Hispanic, wonderful actors. Um, and uh, it was like a party. It was supposed to be a party. It was just fun. We were just having fun and acting silly. And, and, I, and I loved it. And it made, I never saw it, but it was good. The money was good. If you could talk to yourself 40 years ago, what advice would you give yourself? Don't give up. Even if you don't see yourself there on that tube, you can, you know, you can break down that door. If you can't get in through the door, I mean, it sounds cliche-ish, but go through the window. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it because they will try. This town will eat you up. If you don't know who you are, you have to have a sense of self and you can't give up. You gotta keep, keep going because there's something in you or something about you that, that clicks, that they want. They see something in you. They see your energy. I, I'll be 73 in September. I've got great energy. You know, I'm embracing getting older. I'm not like a lot of these actresses, they get a gray hair, um, you know, or they, uh, they get a facelift. No, it, that's life. You're not supposed to be around forever. So, so that's, that's, you know, how what? I feel about it. Would, uh, did you want your kids to go into acting? Uh, no, not really. But I wanted, her, I wanted my, my daughter did get her SAG card. She got her SAG card through Joe Pitka. Okay? And you know, his reputation. But that's the thing. If you're a professional and you know your business, because you know, they, you want me to go in there and you want me to do it like that. You don't want to be spending all this money you know, hanging around. So I, my daughter, I took her on a shoot with me. We did a thing with Ringo Starr for Oldsmobile. It was a four day shoot and I'm going, oh, the kid would like to meet one of the Beatles. She didn't care, okay? But you said you didn't want her to go into acting. How come? I, I, I didn't say I didn't want her to go into acting. I said I wouldn't, you know, I wanted her to do commercials. Right. Because commercials is, is an incredible art form. You've got 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds to tell a story. And to be able to do it like that, and it's passive income. Passive income. You, I'm gonna be, I'll be very frank. This is about money. I gotta pay my rent. And what I'm saying to you, if you, you know, you can go out on uh, 30 auditions. You might not get a call back. Oh my God. You know, is it me? No, it's a crapshoot. It really is. So you go out there and you don't give up. 
because you, you, once you do, if there's something inside of you, they like your energy. This last thing that I did, they like my energy, and it's great. That's not a Buick. <laughs> That's great. Are you in those series of commercials, those Buick commercials? I'm the old lady standing in the doorway. Good for you. That's some money. Yeah. I like it. I like that you got that. Should I? Um, uh, and I and thank you, Arlene. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank what, you, director. Uh, what? Um, do you have any tricks that you use in auditions? Tricks? Yeah. yeah I, I, I must tell you, some of them I really yeah. have used. Um, like, I um, hope this won't mean that I won't get called in for anything, but there have been times um, where, like, I bring my stuff in. See that bag over there? I'll bring my bag in, and I might forget my bag. And I go, oh my God, oh, excuse me, uh, I left my bag in here. Gives them a chance to see me again. <laughs> That's if I did a good audition. Now, if I did a bad audition, what they think is a bad audition, well, they still saw me. <laughs> but, you know, you, you can't. That's a trick, yeah. you know. Sorry. Um, what, uh, what, um, here, move back a little bit to your mark. There you go. Um, what uh, What's your biggest fear for your career? My biggest fear for my career? Yeah. I don't think I have any fears for my career. Really, I've, I'm pretty successful. I've, I'm, I've been around a long time. And my thing is the comedic thing. If they want somebody to give them um, a story with a look, I can do that. Okay. You know, if they want, uh, if, so I've been, I'm, I'm ancient. I'm vintage, so the the uh, the casting directors kind of know me. You know what I'm saying. So if they have a specific uh, role in mind, they might call my agent and say, you know, we'd like to see Ellery for this. You know, and so I don't really have any fears about it because you go on to something else. You can always do something in in the business. You All know? right, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna add a little something, a little fun thing for you. Oh really? Yeah. You know those commercials where uh, there's a, a new product, a new drink, and you don't, uh, you don't, uh, you're skeptical of this drink at first, and then uh, you enjoy the drink that wins you over. Uh -huh. We're having everybody who auditions to, or everybody who got interviewed today do their version of the uh, uh, drink that they're skeptical of, and then they like it. Okay. okay. So take okay. your time. Is there a tissue? Yeah. I'm sorry. I have I have some at the allergies. And, Do we have any and tissues? I feel like my nose is. Here we go. We got a. It's wet. Oh, that's good. Thank you very much. How much time do we have, Dave? Uh, oh, we have 39 seconds. Okay. okay. We got you. Got 39 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. Okay. So it's already poured down here. Yep. So it's poured already, huh? So I got. Why don't you hand it to me? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, All right. Oh, do you want my glasses? Or what? what do you think? Yeah, but go, go to the left. Go to the left, yeah. Okay. Okay. okay, there we go. Do you want me to keep the glasses on, baby? I'm asking the DP right now. Oh, oh, keep it on? Oh, uh. It looks okay. Yeah, if you're looking this way, it yeah. looks great. Yeah, well, let's keep it. You're going to be talking to me. Oh, great, great. Nice face, yeah. Um, okay, so um, so first of all, uh, what is your name? And that's it. Is it uh, so on your headshot? It liter literally is Ellery an exclamation point. Yeah, headshot. Oh. Oh, I don't know. No, no, no. I'm asking. Any headshots? No, no, no. Uh, yes. It's all good, Ellery. Right. Exclamation point. <laughs> yes, it does. It does. <laughs> do you correct people when people just do it with low energy? Do you always like that is not my name? Depending how I'm feeling. 